Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my baby declutter and I think as I declutter I'm going to start packing this up directly for the move, the things that he has outgrown and we're saving for the next kid. So what we have going on here is on the top we have all of these bins with all of the clothing that he has already outgrown. So newborn, zero to three, and three to six month clothing as well as some of my pumping stuff and just things that I'm not using anymore for this baby. I am going to go through everything and take a good look at it and make sure that I do want to hold on to it for the next kid. So I'm gonna make sure that it's not too worn or stained or whatever. Just really give each piece a look over and make sure that it's worth holding on to. I've laid out all of my floor mat toys. So I have five, I have one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to keep this cloud one, this one, and this one, but I'm going to donate both of these. I have a friend who's pregnant with twins, and so pretty much everything that I am passing on that's still good, I'm just going to give directly to her, so I am going to give both of these away. This one was James's least favorite one, although it has really good reviews on Amazon. He just didn't use it the same way he did these other ones. This one he's absolutely loved. It used to be a ball pit, but we lost all the balls. He still really, really loves it, but I just think since I'm keeping three I don't know that's just my least favorite one so I'm going to pass it on this diaper pail the ubi diaper pail I am going to be donating this this one has never been used I did have two I had one here and I had one in Tennessee which is where I gave birth we did use the one in Tennessee and it just didn't work for me I didn't like that you have to manually open it there's not a footstool or anything this thing has such good reviews it's not an inexpensive product so I was pretty disappointed that I didn't like it and I also like didn't expect not to like it at all but I am going to be donating this to that same friend. This bin is full of all of his newborn and zero to three month clothing that I am keeping and this bin is all of his three to six month clothing that I am keeping. A lot of these are Christmassy or wintry because he was six months old at Christmas and going through these clothes was such a walk down memory lane already even though my baby is not even a year old yet. It's just so crazy like this was his coming home outfit and there were just so many things in both of these bins that I was like oh my gosh I can't believe he doesn't fit in that anymore. But I am going to be keeping both of these and I'm going to label them as newborn 0 to 3 and 3 to 6 so that I know for the next baby. This container here is full of anything that had to do with breastfeeding. So all of my pump things, my supplements, my nursing pads, literally anything to do with breastfeeding or pumping I stuck in this bin when I was done with that. So I think what I'm going to do is just go through this bin and see what's in here. I am going to be keeping my pumps for a potential next child, but like supplements I don't need to keep because they're gonna expire before then anyway. So I'm just gonna go through and like make sure that I have the parts for everything, get everything very organized, and then let go of what I don't need. This is everything that I'm going to be keeping. I separated everything into bags with like items. So these are all of my Medela Sonata pump parts. These are some of my Baby Buddha pump parts. We have more Baby Buddha pump parts here. We have my SNS system, which I'm going to keep because this was like fairly expensive and I didn't use it very many times. I have a couple of just extra um, pump accessories that I didn't end up opening. So some more connectors. We have some like soothing gel pads that I hadn't opened and I checked and these don't expire. We have some breast milk bags that is unopened, some more soothing gel pads and then extra tubing that's unopened, stuff like that. So this is what I'm going to be keeping. And then what I'm going to be getting rid of is this. I actually used like parts of this and then some of them are unused still in their packaging. So I'm gonna see if my friend wants those bits. The Willow Pump did not work for me so I am going to be getting rid of that. I'm going to be getting rid of all my supplements because they all expire before I could have a next baby anyway. I will ask my friend if she wants these. They are all open and like half used so I don't know, it's going to be completely up to her, but I will offer it to her because I mean, you know, they're still good, but I don't need those. And then I have two packs of these little disposable nursing pads. I am just going to pass these on. I also have this container that has newborn diapers and some unopened nursing pads. I'm going to stick this in her pile and some of you guys might be like, oh my gosh, why would she want open diapers? A girl is pregnant with twins. She literally wants anything and these are 
obviously unused and they're totally fine. You guys, I don't know what to do with the Willow Pump because it was a $400 pump. I would love to give it to someone to use so that it doesn't just like go to waste. I would love to give it to my friend, but I feel like breast pumps are unsanitary. I know there's like closed system, open system, and I don't know. I mean, I guess I could give the outer bits to her and she'd have to buy her own like this, which is the part that actually comes in contact with milk, which you can buy extras of this. But I feel bad giving her a gift that's going to require her to purchase more stuff. You know what I mean? And also, I feel like insurance gives you a pump anyway, so she probably doesn't want it. But I don't want to just throw it away. I'm, I don't know. You guys let me know what you would do with this. And then I was going to do bottles when I did my kitchen and pantry because all of his bottles and stuff like that are downstairs. But I realized I had a bunch that I want to donate, so I figured I would just put them in the same video. When James was little, he had a lot of tummy issues. He never had colic or anything that intense, but he did have a lot of stomach pain. And so we tried the Dr. Brown's bottle which have amazing reviews. We ended up buying a ton of these and these are supposed to be really good for colic, spit up, burping, and gas. And so we thought that this would help him and we ended up feeling like it did help for like a week. So we kind of went ham and bought him like a bunch of them. And then we realized that they weren't helping that much. We like ended up using another one and it worked just the same. And it has a lot of parts. We just didn't really love this bottle. So I have two unopened packs that I'm just going to go ahead and donate to that same girl. We also have this, which is one that I tried because my mom really liked this one. This literally looks like a bottle from the 80s. And that's literally when my mom used it with me. She said, that these were really good and um, they have these plastic liners that kind of contract as the milk is going out and it helps keep air out of the milk which again is good for um, colic or gas or anything like that so we tried this and in the end we ended up just liking the Medela bottles that is what we ended up using we're still using them with him we have a bunch of them we don't need to keep all of these extra bottles so I'm gonna pass this on to her as well I have a couple boxes of these Medela quick clean steam bags we got these in bulk like I think from Amazon it came in a six pack and these things you can use each bag multiple times and each box comes with several bags like we have way too many so I'm gonna give one of these to her same situation with the Medela quick clean soap we got these in bulk from Amazon we have a couple unopened that we're keeping that we're using as we clean out his bottles so I'm gonna give her an unopened pack of that and then we have all of the rest of the Dr. Brown's bottles that we tried. We did try the tall ones and the small ones, and we have all the parts here. These ones were ones that we used, but they're obviously cleaned and boiled, and I will tell her to clean it again just, you know, to make sure that it's nice and clean. These were extra Baby Buddha parts, so I'm going to keep those for when I use my Baby Buddha again. And then there's just a few random things in here that went to different things that I'm going to go through and figure out where they belong. And this bag is all of the miscellaneous parts that go to all of those Dr. Brown's bottles. So as you can see, each bottle had one, two, three, four, five, six, like six parts per bottle. It was just a pain in the butt. Woo! Whoops. But you know what? Here's the thing. I feel like if these bottles really help your baby have less gas and be more comfortable, they are absolutely worth putting together six parts per bottle. Absolutely 100%. The only reason why we ended up just not loving this bottle is because we didn't feel like there was a huge difference for our baby. But these bottles still have really good reviews and I'm definitely going to see if she wants these. Moving on to another bin. This one has all of the blankets and burp cloths that we're not currently using. These are blankets that I definitely want to keep but we're just not using. So we have like his hospital blankets here. We have some burp cloths. We have his little like announcement blanket. These are just blankets and lovies that are important that I want to keep but they're not ones that we're using right now. I also have this bin of stuff that I'm gonna go through. I don't even know what's in this bin, honestly. So we're just gonna go through it here on camera and I'm gonna decide what I wanna keep and what I don't. First, we have some snoo sacks. We have a pack in medium and we have a pack in large. And I believe this one on top is a small and then we used one of the smalls with James. James did not like the snoo sacks. He loved his snoo bassinet, but he did not like the sacks that went with it. I am gonna keep these just in case our next baby enjoys it. I know a lot of babies really like the snoo sacks and since we're keeping the snoo, it just makes sense to me to keep the sacks just in case 
the next baby is a fan. This little bunny goes on his swing and I'm actually not sure why it's been taken off, why it's not on his swing. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put it on his swing. I think we might've washed that at one point and then I don't know why it got put in this box. This is a bamboo dinnerware set. This is super cute. This was a gift and I am actually gonna take this downstairs because James is eating solid foods now. He's doing the cereals and purees and stuff like that. So I'm gonna take this down and actually use it. So I'm gonna put this in my kitchen. This is like a travel wipe container that came with my diaper bag. It's by Fond Design. I don't know why it's in here, but I'm gonna put that in his diaper bag. This is a like belly support band and I'm gonna keep this, but I'm gonna put it in with my maternity stuff because with my back, like my previous back injury, I did have to do some belly support. So I'm gonna put that in for my next one. Hopefully I will have a next one, especially after all of this. Um, I have all of his manuals for everything in another bin, so I'm just gonna add that to that pile. This is, oh, this is the box that is coming home outfit came in. So this is his little Burberry outfit and I'm actually going to dig it out and put it in this box. This is such a keepsake like as his coming home outfit. My parents gave me this outfit for the Christmas before he was born so that I would have it for him and oh my gosh he was so cute. So I'm going to keep that box. And then I don't know what this cord goes to. We have a couple of PPTPs which were a gift at my baby shower. This is just the dust bags that go with his diaper bags. I'm going to keep that. I do like keeping dust bags for bags that I have. This is a bottle that we haven't used. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in the bin for my friend. This is another bottle. I feel like we might've just gotten miscellaneous. This might've actually come from the hospital, like miscellaneous things. You know how they give you like that little grab bag of stuff? I actually don't know where these things came from because these are random. I never used this one. I would have liked to use this had I known it was in here, but I'm just gonna pass this on to her. We have so many bottles, guys, that we're going to keep for the next one. I also have another one of these. Going to go ahead and pass that on. We have some Avent pacifiers, and he is very, very set on only liking the ma'am babbies, and so I'm going to pass this on for her little twin babies. Same with this, the little nook babbies. I love that that one says eligible bachelor. That's so cute, but he has so many pacifiers. It just does not make sense to keep these. I'm going to let those go to her and her two sweet little babies. We have a lot of PPTBs in here. I'm going to keep those. Another manual. I'm going to put that in with my manuals. A couple of disposable nipples that they give you in the hospital. I'm going to give those to her. And then I have no idea what this is, guys. Like, what the heck is that? Is that a cat toy? Like, what on earth could that even go to? I have literally no idea. So this bag looks like a bag of stuff that I put together. These are more bottles that we tried for him. There's one of the Playtex ones, and these ones are the Komotomo, which have amazing reviews, but we didn't really love them. Um, so again, these are like washed and nice you know, bottles that we're just not using. I'm just gonna offer them to my friend. And then there were just a couple more things in there, a little brush, some wash and shampoo from Avino Baby. Definitely gonna be keeping that and this little cord that I don't know what it goes to. Moving on to his dresser, I have pulled some things from here already when I was doing his clothing, when I was packing up his clothing. So all of this clothing is stuff that it is currently fitting him. The next drawer just has a small pile of nine to 12 months, which he's not in yet, but I didn't want to pack it up because eventually he will be in that size. We don't have a ton of clothing for him for that size, but the bottom drawer has a lot of stuff. So I thought we would go through this drawer on camera um, this is not clothing, so the other two drawers I did when I did the clothing, but this one is like towels and burp cloths and swaddles and stuff like that, so we're going to go through it. Digging in here, we have a couple of blankets that we're still using, like this one, which was his little announcement blanket that we posted him a picture of him on Instagram when we announced his name and his arrival, and this was made by his Mama Goot, so we're going to be keeping that. Um... I'm definitely going to be keeping all of these muslin cloths because honestly, like these are so handy when your baby's small. We don't really find ourselves using them as much anymore, but when he was little, oh my gosh, we used these so much. Little babies, when they're newborn, they tend to spit up a lot, so he doesn't really do that anymore, but we went through quite a lot of these. Plus, we swaddled him in it, too. I'm going to be keeping all of these towels because we do give him a bath every single day, and... We need little baby towels for him. So I'm gonna keep all his little towels and these ones are like little animal ones. Like this one has a little shark. Look how cute. 
Oh my gosh, baby stuff is just too cute. I can't. We've already gone through the bulk of this drawer just being towels and little muslin cloths, but all right, this was a fuzzy swaddle that we're not currently using, but it is really cute and I want to keep it for the next. So I'm going to put this in that linens bin. We have a couple of washcloths, which don't belong in this drawer. We have like a little container that we put his washcloths in for easy access. So I'm going to move those. We have a couple more towels. And then I think this is another towel, yeah. These are burp cloths, which we're not using anymore, but I am going to keep them. I'm going to put them in that linen bin. So we have one, two and three. No, that's a washcloth. I'm going to put that in with the washcloths. Okay, so I'm going to move these, put them in that bin. A couple more washcloths. I don't know why all of these got put in here, but I'm going to put that with the washcloths. We also have a little bin that all of his little socks go in, so I'm going to move his socks. This is his snoo sheet, so I'm going to put that in with the snoo sacks. And last but not least, we have three little swaddle sacks. I'm going to keep this one because we didn't use it very much. It's still really good. This one, however, oh, we have four. Um, these ones we used the heck out of, and I know one of them started to rip. Yeah, this one started to rip. Look at that butt rip. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. This one, I believe, also ripped. We did love these, but they did rip. I don't know. That was a weird spot to have rips. And then we have this one, which is from the Mori brand, which you guys know is like my favorite baby brand. And I am going to keep this little sleep swaddle. So I'm going to put his towels and his muslin cloths back in this drawer. I'm not making it super neat right now. We go through these so fast. So put these in here. And then the rest of the stuff I'm going to put in that bin. You guys, I feel so dumb right now. I was looking at these slits because I was like, that's weird that they're in the same spot. That is a hemmed slit. That is not raw fabric. That means that these are meant to be there. So I looked it up just now and it's considered a harness slit. Now I do not know what that means, but basically it means these were not ripped. I thought the entire time I was using them that they were ripped. New mom brain, I swear. So I'm gonna keep these because I guess they're good. And James loved these. We used them a lot. There's no reason not to keep them. This bin is full of baby wraps and carriers and a lot of these did not work for me. So I know that this baby Catan one right on top was too small for me. I was never able to use this. So I'm gonna pass that one on. This one is like a shirt wrap for kangaroo care when your newborn is very small. And again, it just didn't fit me very well. So I'm gonna pass that on this one I did really like this is from Amazon and it's just a sling carrier and I did like this one so I'm gonna be keeping it this one is absolutely filthy I think a cat has napped on it it's the ergo baby carrier I'm gonna give that a really good clean and lint roll and then this one is just I think this is actually just a swaddle yeah, this is the Ollie swaddle, so I am going to put that in his swaddle container. This is everything that I am passing on to my friend. So we have all the stuff that I showed you. And this is what the nursery looks like currently. So on this side we have the chair, the little play mat, then we have his crib, which has a ton of stuffed animals and pillows. And then over here, this bin has all of my warranties for everything and also like extra parts for things. And then over here, we just have a bunch of stuff. So we have these bins that are packed and ready to go for the move. One clothing bin has newborn and zero to three. The other one has three to six. Then we have the one with all of my like pumping and nursing parts. And then this top one has all baby blankets, burp cloths, swaddles, and a couple of things that are nostalgic that will be going in baby James's like memory box like his little baby peach costume because his nickname was baby peach and his little Burberry outfit and some cards that he got when he was born and then these are clothing pieces he's currently wearing a bumbo seat that we're going to be keeping and a stack of pillows that we're going to be keeping so we have a dock -a tot a boppy lounger a my breast friend nursing pillow and a sit me up caterpillar and then on this side of the room we have his bookcases so we have his socks in one of these little containers his bibs in one we have all of his little shoes laid out here and then this is his dresser and then his other bookcase which I didn't declutter any of his books because it's a collection and we're going to use them. And down here I put all of his washcloths in this little bin, his muslin cloths, and his towels. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this Declutter Monday video of all of my baby things and my beginning packing process for the move. 
If you guys did, make sure you leave me a comment below, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next Monday with the next declutter video. Goodbye!